Hello and welcome to Next Day Solar. We're in the year of 2025 and five years on from when we did our first solar project, we're up here to lay 480 panels on this beautiful building here in Park Royal London. If you're interested to know how you fix 480 panels to a metal sheet roof on an industrial unit, or you're thinking of doing it to your building, we'll do a step-by-step -step guide throughout this video. Hope you enjoy, and we look forward to generating over 200 kilowatt hours of solar from this roof in the very near future. Over 200 kilowatts of power will be here, generating about 30,000 pounds worth of revenue in energy terms on today's prices per year. So payback is well under five years. There's a big bakery downstairs that's very energy hungry. And in fact, I'm aware that the grid wouldn't upgrade the supply. It was in excess of 100,000 pounds to do that. They've been running, I think, a generator to give them a bit of a boost of power. So this is another way they can actually uh, improve the power that they've got in this bakery. We're now going to go downstairs and I'll show you where we've got the inverters, two Solus inverters, which we're fixing up and adjusting the boards for. Follow me. So first step of the install is finding a location for consumer board and also finding a location for the first inverter. There are two inverters, so we're just currently making suitable fixings on the wall. So we've done the first part of the installation, which is to sit the inverter, and then we've got the new distribution board there. So the solar energy will be coming from the roof down into the inverter and through into the super grid and back into the building's power. Well, there we have it. We got the inverter on the wall. If you think he helped, he didn't help. <laughs> but it was really difficult. It's a 100 kilo inverter, so it's really quite a feat from the boys at NDS. Thank you. All right. Now we've got two things going on in this place. We've got a bakery, which works at night and a patisserie that's open in the day like a shop. So what we've actually done is we've taken all the east panels and wired them to the patisserie inverter and then all the west facing panels to this inverter. And that way the sun in the later part of the day will power this where the bakery is most active and most power hungry. There'd be no sense in wiring all the east panels to the bakery, loads of sun and energy in the morning, which they're not using and no energy at night when they need all the energy. So that's been really important as part of our design. New inverter up here, new distribution board, here, three phase, uh, council meter and surge protection device and then going into the existing electricity supply here at this bakery. So that's principally the space that we need and you can see we've already laid trunking as well so we can send our cables up. So the first thing we're doing now is laying our line. You can see we've clipped a line to the edge of the roof at one meter off, so there's access if you ever need to have access. We've put our first bracket in, which we've obviously marked from the edge one meter, and now we're running our line all the way along so we get a flat line, and that way we'll have solar panels that look nice and sharp. We've worked out where our first group of solar panels are going, 18 are coming here, and within a couple of minutes you'll see these will all be laid. Well, we're getting to almost the end of the second day. We managed to get 18 panels on all components up. We've also been wiring up the second consumer board as well. Actually, the bracket is really small. You can see it's a tiny little bracket. You're not running big rails. There's no need to run big heavy rails that are weighing down the roof. Now, just to show you the bracket, the tiny little bracket, perfect. Three fixings straight on the top of the trapezoid roof and you're there. So this is one of the arrays we installed yesterday, this one and this one here. We had to stop because it was getting dark, but you can see nice array getting lots of sunshine. We've gone for an east-west setup here. Kind of makes sense with the way the roof's organized. Obviously, if you've got a flat roof, you could then angle south, but here we were kind of governed by the direction of the roof. You can see how much expansive it is. And if you look around, all these roofs, none of them have solar on. You just think, wow, what wasted potential. You're looking at, even with my eyes distance, probably easily a year, 300, 400, maybe even half a million pound worth of energy that could be generated from these roofs with a reasonable capital investment. So I think, you know, about cleaning up Britain and uh, reducing our carbon footprint, you know, we've got the assets here. We've got the roof space. The panels are relatively inexpensive. It's relatively simple technology. It's simple to fit, as you can see. It's kind of a no-brainer. What you can see here is we're starting our first string. It's been a bit tricky this morning actually because it's a metal sheet roof and it's quite wet. So we've actually had to let the sun dry it out, which is good. Um, we've started our string. This will be a string of 15 panels, three by five. 
there'll be another 15 up there so a set of 30 here nice simple brackets we're clipping our cables so if you haven't done this before you obviously tie your cables in a string so we have the female end here so we know we need the male end next as we keep going along our string so we connect 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 and at the end we'll do a test make sure we've got the right voltage and that's it we're marking them out we're going we've got a pair of people fitting the brackets on the roof a pair doing the panels and that's that so So we have to leave 17 millimetres between each panel as an expansion gap, there's a bit of gap, so as the panels get warm in the summer, there's a bit of space for them to grow and shrink. Right, happy? No. Nice. Come on. A bit more. That's better. Yeah. So as you can see behind you, we've laid out the rest of the brackets for this next section. We're cleaning the roof as we go because there's a layer of grease and grime and we want a decent fixing on the roof. One thing I maybe mention is if you do have a roof like this and you don't have the money to put the panels on the roof, there are people that will effectively do a purchase agreement. They'll buy the rights to your roof, commit to you a price for the energy that they'll sell it to you at, which is typically cheaper than the grid, a lot cheaper than the grid. So you benefit from having clean energy in your building, free installation of solar equipment, and a lower price for your energy. So if you do own your own building and you're thinking, how can I make savings on my energy bill? It's one way to do it without any capital expense. It's quite an interesting avenue that's coming to market uh, and we, we do work with one or two of those companies. Well, you can see we've done five here and I'm stopping here and the next one's here. We're leaving a channel here, a walkway for access, servicing, cleaning, maintenance. These guys obviously wanted to make the most out of the roof, but with the grid supply that's here, we actually can't feed back much more than we're making. To be honest, we're making even a bit more than we can feed back. There's no sense in eking out every single inch. We're getting a good amount in enough to power the building, you know, enough to feed back to the grid, but allowing some service. You could cover it, but then if you had a problem with a panel in the middle there, you'd spend a long time unclipping, removing. At least so it's very logical as well, and we've got a service plan for the future. So this is why we've left some space. Mic check, mic check. Right. Well, if you think that's all we've done, you'd be wrong. It's just it was so wet and slippery on here, we had to pause. You can see panels coming over. We've laid out this entire roof space, panels coming over. They're going to kill me for taking a break. That's, here we are. If you are working on a roof, one thing I can recommend is to fit your screw gun to one of these lanyards, and that way you're not going to lose it down the side of the roof. Anyway, right, what have we done? We've finished all these panels. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven arrays uh, on this side. Why did we do this side? Well, it was sunny yesterday. This was dry. And all the grime you can see here is just horrendous. So we're just slipping everywhere in the wet. So we had to stop. We've obviously got all the edge protection all the way around. But um, yeah, if you think fitting solar is <laughs> easy, it is pretty tough. There's th over a thousand screws into this sheet here, having to get all the panels up there, over across the roof. So today we're going to try and finish this side. There you go. You see, walking in and down it goes. Today we're going to try and finish this side uh, of the roof. The weather's not being that kind to us, being January, February in England, but off we go. So that's what we've got left to do today. Difficult when everyone's working so hard to film. Okay, well it's day four on the project and we have finished this face entirely. When we've almost finished the far face, we've got these two faces to do 